Mother man. Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Tony Capagna at Spellbound Effects and Art, listening to Murder Metal Mayhem. Spreading faster than a case of the clap in a trailer court. Able to shatter eardrums within a 666-mile radius. A podcast more brutal than all the rest. It's Murder Metal I have the privilege to be doing this interview with Tony Campagna of Spellbound Effects and Art. Tony is a sponsor of the show and is one hell of an amazing artist. Tony, thanks for coming uh, on the show and taking time from Creating Mayhem to come uh, talk to me. And how are things with the pandemic going with you guys and uh, everybody down there? Yo, um, it's going. Uh, It's definitely a, a... A different world we live in now it's very yeah, strange but it is you, know, um, uh, uh, you just kind of adapt I mean I, I'm you know I was telling you earlier you know I had a day job and, and was let go after like 21 years and, and always did this on the side and now yeah. kind of gave me a kick in the ass to you know get it going full time and now I'm doing this like all day every day and wow. I love it and yeah, you know, making like making severed penises and drinking coffee every morning. <laughs> um, you know, most people are you know checking their email. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, I'm making sure the urethra is just has the proper amount of blood in it. That's fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now I asked you to make us something for the hundredth episode. My yeah, suggestion was, was an inverted cross made of human skin. Trying to keep it simple, but in your mind, you interpreted the 100th episode on demonic possession a bit differently, and so I'd like you to explain this fucking thing that I'm looking at on my dining room table. It is the most <laughs> fucking intense shit I've ever seen you do. Like, whoa, how did you come yeah, up with this was, and explain this? That, to? That one was fun. Um, when I think of demonic possession, I think of a parasite. Okay. Um, so, hence why all the tentacles and, and the grossness coming out of the yeah, mouth it's got like face. snot kind of yeah. shit dripping from it and everything. <laughs> it's fucking cool. The grosser, the better. Oh, it's More amazing. Gore. But um, uh, and then you know, I, I I went with the whole the you know the, the crosses all carved into it. Kinda. Yeah. You know, I'm a huge fan. I love like in the mouth of madness, and that's a oh yeah a big influence that with the with the cross. He didn't carve them into them. He just he was you know, but that's kind of where I was right. going with it. And and I was thinking of adding you know a priest collar or a uh, rosary bead, but it looked done to me and. You know, oh, that, that's hard to find out when it when something's done, you know. Yeah, that's you it's absolutely amazing. The blood looks wet on the steak and the base from the angle I'm looking Actually, at. Actually, my it. my uh, my daughter made the steak for me. Oh, nice! They were bored because they're out of school and they're like, oh, you know, sure. just hanging out here. Some fun shop, art like projects making, at the like, Campagna know, house. Parts. Yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah. I give them a Dremel tool and I'm like, make this pointy. So you know, <laughs> an hour and a half, two hours later. You know, wow! Several dowels of wood later. That's they hilarious. Kind of right, but. <laughs> That's funny. No, that it's amazing, man. It's really, really great. It's a perfect piece to the table with the lamp and the forearm. And man, it's just it's sick. We got uh, the hundredth episode. We're gonna have your stuff on the table plus our exorcism kit. And I got some black candles. Oh, We're gonna sweet. light it up. It's gonna be sick. So nice. pretty psyched for this. Awesome. Now, um, do you have any? favorite movies or books that tie or deal with possession because that's the theme of course of this hundredth episode but do you have any particular ones um Um, there's so many like i watch so many movies like i've seen i can't they all kind of almost blend together but things that stick out more recent uh, that I just the first thing that can't come to my mind is the new remake of Evil Dead, and uh, <laughs> the when the you know I don't know if that's I, yeah that was a possession because she's yeah 
locked in the basement and then she turns into that but that was just the blood that i mean it, oh, that was yeah. sick yeah um of course exorcism and that's a classic uh I, I like all the you know like the possession of um hannah or whatever that was hannah rose or emily rose like. emily rose yes yeah. that one was all right um but yeah and as far as books um yeah nothing really comes to mind i haven't read anything were you ever Ooh, into, so. like, Poe or Lovecraft or any of that kind of stuff? No, my wife is huge. My wife is okay. huge. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, I I, I read a little bit, um, some Stephen King stuff, but, like, like, lately I haven't, you know, I get on a kick and, you yeah. know, it's like anything else. Oh, yeah, no, I get it. You're busy now. You're making uh, body parts, you know. Well, I'm not making by. Yeah, I just want to like. Uh, now nothing else is on Netflix or any of those. Like, right. I've seen, like everything there is to. I've seen like the end of everything. Like, yeah, I know. There's I know nothing what you left. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mine uh, Hunters was a good show. I love the Mine Hunters. Yeah, was Mine really Hunters was good. The, the new season was cool. I dug it. I love their son of Sam. The guy they had played him was looked a lot like him. I thought. Yeah, uh, Wayne Kemper, Williams Kemper too. too yeah. yeah, they they all are spot on, man. That's for sure. Now you know on the show, Tony, you listen to the show. We do Killer Cage Match, okay? And on this hundredth episode, uh, we're going to do a special Killer Cage Match. And what I want to do is play your response to this question after we actually <laughs> do it. So this is going to be interesting because okay. it's a it's a possession episode. We're going to have. Uh, in a steel cage, fighting to the death, Reagan from The Exorcist versus Emily Rose. So we got these two chicks going at it to fight till the death in this cage. Who do you like in this contest, man? I mean, what do you think might go down if those two were fighting in a cage? Uh, 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 Reagan, of course. You going with Reagan? Of course. Okay. Yeah, hands down, Reagan. Definitely. Okay. Spit some pea soup in the eye. She can't see shit. Nice. Done. Okay, <laughs> spit some pea soup, pea soup in the eye. Very cool. Is that what it was, right? Like, yeah, like it was. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah, that's funny. That's awesome, man. I I like your but answer. Yeah, no, Reagan, definitely Reagan. That's, All right, that's, she's an icon. My money would be on Reagan too. Just old school, tip to the old school yeah. type thing. Uh, I actually met her when she was like in her early twenties, early to mid twenties. Uh, she lived across the street from a guy I went to school with. It was pretty oh, funny. Shit. Yeah, she was like washing oh. her car one day, and we went over and talked to her. And he's like, "Don't After, say anything." Oh, so she was already famous at that time. Oh yeah, she was in her twenties. Oh, yeah, awesome. but he's like, "Don't say anything about the Exorcist." And I'm like, "What do you mean? Don't say anything about the Exorcist?" She gets pissed. Don't talk about it. I'm like, "Okay, what the fuck else do you talk to her about?" You know? Yeah, I <laughs> it's been just like, like so to, weird. You know? Say, what was that? What did she say? Like your mother fucks Christ or something? Yeah, your mother or, sucks yeah. cocks in <laughs> hell. You, or some shit. Yeah, can your mother? Can you say your mother sucks cocks? Yeah. No? Hold a tape recorder out. You know? Like how many people went up to Arnold? Can you say I'll be back? I'll be exactly. Back. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So yeah, as a trip. Um, now I'm amazed at how real everything you look, or everything you do actually looks. I mean, it feels real. The, oh, the I weight. That. The weight of it feels fucking real. That's what everybody comments when they pick up oh, the nice. forearm. They're like, this is fucking dense. Like, this feels like yeah, a well, fucking that's the arm, man. Yeah, well, using the silicone because... It's amazing. Uh, you know, it's a, the material. It's a great material to work with. You know? Yeah, it's fucking it's fantastic. It's more on the pricey side than latex. You know, that's oh, where sure. I have a big turn off. But, oh, you know. sure. Now, the, the one thing, I look at this head that you sent on the stake... Um, I could see like veins in the in the head, and I love that kind of detail. How did you learn how to do that? Has it been just a lot of trial and error? I know we, that, we interviewed you before. We talked a little bit about how you got into this, but yeah. So I do a lot of airbrushing as well, murals and, and low riders, and I've done whatever bikes and motorcycles, helmets, whatever. And, and you use the, the vein is just a airbrush. Um, I just take a little blue when it's wet oh, wow. and the silicone's still kicking and I just hit it with the little blue vein. And I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's more impressive when you see it 
and then if you're here and I'm spraying it on, you're like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when you see how it's done, it's just like, really? That's wow. all you do? But it that's just cool. works really well. No, it does, man. Product, you know? It's yeah. so realistic. It's unbelievable. It really well, thank is. Thank you very much. Uh, no problem. Now, how much of an influence is music in your artwork? Um, do you actually like listen to tunes when you're working? And if so, like All what kind of stuff? Okay. Constantly. So everything lately, it's been a lot of, I lost my um, Amazon membership oh. to uh, just because my uh, debit card wasn't connected or whatever, for whatever reason. So now I'm, I'm listening to the, the Amazon crap that's and i'm right now uh 80s rock 70s rock in the morning i'll listen to jazz um i, I change it around it depends what i'm in the mood for but okay a little bit cool. of everything I mean, that's you know, cool probably goes with the mood maybe you know yeah of course it's for some reason painting body parts to jazz jives more than painting <laughs> body parts to like cannibal corpse right <laughs> and it's the morning and like my 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 little studio is like right on a little uh, canal and it's right. like really beautiful out here in the morning and, oh that's awesome i have my shop pig that you know keeps me company so yeah no i love the and, and again you know i'm down in south florida so by two o'clock it, it's brutal the heat oh i'm here. sure so, you know, i usually work early mornings to you know one or two o'clock in the afternoon but, oh that's cool that's cool um now what kind of dreams do you have and do you actually sleep well uh, or do you have like crazy fucking nightmares and shit like that no um, I mean, when I do remember them, they're <laughs> nothing crazy. I don't, yeah, nothing crazy, man. Okay. I think my 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 conscience, uh, uh, imagination is more um, vivid to me than my subconscious. Like okay. I can't remember dreams, especially if I'm you know like I'm a burnout man. We I, we never remember our dreams. I only dream a lot when I'm like you know not burning or you know. right right so, yeah no I get I, that I get that and then you have some really crazy dreams and you're like what like you know, yeah why well, have people ask no me sense. that when I do interviews for like my writing stuff you know people are like man how do you come up with this shit you know do you sleep at night you know I'm like yeah I sleep okay I mean it's you know, normal I, it's yeah. normal for us man yeah I, mean, yeah, I guess you, you get know. it out when you do what you do you know what I mean maybe That's if you it. weren't painting or I wasn't writing then you'd be having some crazy dreams I don't yeah know. i think we live in a, <laughs> I, I was telling someone that the other day we, you know we live in a you know there's a lot of fucked up shit that's going on don't get me wrong oh, but God, we, we yeah. live in a really good when you look at the big picture we live in a really good time where you can be whoever you want to be and right. true yeah some people may say whatever but it's acceptable you can fucking do whatever you want to do you know? that's true as man. long as it's you know yeah legal and within Le you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> at least not getting caught, right? <laughs> exactly. Now, uh, what are some new pieces you've been working on? Because I love it. Every oh, it's if it's not every day, it's pretty damn close. You're posting. Here's my workshop for the day, and it's like hands and legs and dicks and all kinds of shit. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, but it's I mean, hard anything to new? It's, it's, it's yeah. So it's hard to come up with new stuff when I'm making all the other stuff that yeah. I have. So Dude, every that once vest in a while when was I have sick. a that chance vest like was sick. doing your piece, right. like the, the head on the spear, then that's like, a, you know, I'm like, yes, okay, finally, I can break away and do. Right. You know, I still have to do your nipple belt. I, I kind of did forget about that, but you, that's I, all right. I'm just remembering it. I'll now. forgive you. I'll <laughs> um, forgive you. Um, but, yeah, so when I get a chance to make a new piece, and and, and, and I have people that, you know, kind of like kick me in the ass every once in a while, and they message me and be like, you know, can you – make this and i kind of put it off and you gotta maybe message me a couple of times sometimes, right and then i'm like okay 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 right so i'm doing actually you know some light switch uh plate covers for some oh, nice new and i'm doing um so i do some work with two websites one the horror dome out of uh they're out of new york okay and another website um called mad about horror they're out of the uk and they wanted me to come up with some new products. So we're, I'm kind of focusing on like the escape room. 
oh cool genre of that seems to be a lot of the business that i'm getting so i'm doing a lot oh, of things cool. with magnets and and things removable fingers and uh you know oh cool that's so awesome. that can be used with in puzzles and, and, and stuff like that so okay you know, wow that's really so cool that's, that's very the creative next thing on my plate you know? yeah that's really cool i really love that uh vest you did for somebody that was oh, fucking yeah, badass. Best, the best. Oh my yeah, god, that was heavy. sick, man. <laughs> was it? <laughs> yeah, it was like fifteen pounds. Or oh my god! <laughs> wow, imagine how hot it would be like in the fucking heat of the summer wearing that thing. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I had someone contact me um, uh, out of New York that wanted a dress out of silicone, and I'm like, man, I don't know if I can. Wow, it's gonna be like. 80 pounds yeah really so, you know they wanted like the lady gaga looking where you know she made the house oh out of meat. the meat right yeah. oh wow that's funny but yeah. yeah it would be heavy as hell man yeah i mean i know just from picking up the stuff you've sent me i mean there's he you know it's got a weight to it i couldn't imagine that yeah now has yeah, the uh, pandemic good. changed anything about how business is going with you? I, I mean, think, yeah, I think for me, I think it's actually been a little better, especially after everyone got that little mm -hmm. stimulus check and got yeah. a little extra money that they you know, yeah. blow it on extra shit like body parts, like right. it's not a necessity, you know? <laughs> right? You know, but I think you know, um, yeah, no, I'm. I'm this seems to be not really affecting me as much, you know. Good. I mean, that's good. As that's far good. as you know, I mean, losing my other job and all that. Right. You know, but whatever. Right. I mean, yeah, maybe it was meant there. to be. You know, I mean, you yep. do this thing full yeah. time and really give it your go. Um, I think it's awesome, Tony. You're an amazingly talented guy. Is there anything? else that you'd like to let our listeners know that you got going on i mean people can get a hold of you we know spellbound effects and art.com uh that's how you get to your main site but anything else you want to yeah, plug no, or just uh man i'm uh i'm a pretty modest person and uh i just appreciate all the business i've been getting from people and the feedback and awesome um and it's you know i'm supportive of all the other there's there's several people in my little group of i've Facebook noticed there's a few yeah they, they, they kind of do similar things and and you know and i, I think we're pretty all supportive of each other that's good i was hoping uh, it was you know, that way yeah it is it is there's, that's uh, cool you know yeah. the bad vibe thing can totally like ruin you on yeah media, no that's like, shitty i hate media. i hate like when i was doing the band thing i always hated when bands trashed each other you know yeah it just funny. sucks now thanks so much tony for doing this interview and for sending that incredible new art piece for the table it's fucking brutal hey, as hell i'm honored i'm honored and i can't believe how sick it is in person so horns high to you man and thank you again and continued good luck thank you with congrats everything. on the marriage too Oh, thank you very much. She hasn't thrown me out of the house yet, so that's good. Oh, you're doing good, man. Yeah, I had, to, I had to sleep on the porch one night, but that's as far as it got, you know. Nice. <laughs> She's yelling at me in the other room, so. All right, Tony. Well, again, right, man, it was man, great to talk. Eye, horns eye to you, my friend. We'll see you. All right, man. Mother, mother, man.